Joining us in the arena are members of the mind, staff, faculty, and leadership. Please stand and be recognized. Thank you. On the stage are two of the Unique to Minds artifacts that will be present at your graduation celebration. On one side is our university mace, topped by Blaster, our beloved school mascot. And on the other side is the 16th century book, The De Re Metallica. The third item is the Blaster Blaster, made by the Minds Maker Society. Please welcome student trustee Grace Airy to the podium to start tonight's event. Hello everyone and welcome to the Colorado School of Mines. It is with great pride and deep pleasure that we welcome all our new students, families, and faculty and staff to the 2023 Convocation Ceremony. We're so glad to have you here. My name is Grace Airy, and I am your student trustee. This means that I have the honor of representing the student voice, your voice, to the Colorado School of Mines Board of Trustees. I was born in Tulsa, Oklahoma, but grew up in Firestone, Colorado, just a few short minutes from here. I'm currently a junior in business engineering and management science here on campus. Around campus, you can also find me involved with the undergraduate and graduate student governments Stumo, the Panhellenic Council, and my sorority. Being at Minds, you're going to get a truly unique experience. Surrounding you are the future leaders, engineers, scientists, and policy makers of not just America, but the world. This school not only provides world-class academics, but it also provides you a community. I would encourage you all to seek out that community that Minds can give you. But don't just take my word for it. Surrounding me and talking today are a group of exceptional people who can speak about how amazing it will be to be an ordinary. With that, it's my pleasure to introduce the 17th president of the Colorado School of Mines and local blaster superfan, PCJ, President Paul Johnson. Thank you, Grace. You know, given that you've successfully completed three of these, I think you deserve one of these for that. Thank you. All right, welcome to Mines, everybody. Happy to be here? Are you happy to be here? All right, excellent. Well, welcome to Convocation as well. And, um, you know, Convocation is a word that means a calling or coming together. And this is where we formally welcome our incoming class and their families to the Minds community. And so today you hear from um, students, from faculty and university leaders, and hopefully you'll see, and hopefully you've sensed as you moved in today or whenever you did move in, that we're all pretty excited to have you here and that you're joining us at a pretty unique time in Minds history. So you're the, like the class that's starting the celebration of our 150th anniversary, which officially starts in 2024. So you can, you can always sort of claim yourselves to be one of the sesquicentennial classes. Now, that means you have to pronounce that word, but uh, if you can do it, you can, you can claim it. Um, you're gonna discover we do a lot of welcoming here at Mines. So we, we've done this, some of you, how many of you went to Ordinator Camp? So we welcomed you to Ordinator Camp, right? Um, you're gonna get welcomed again tonight. Tomorrow morning, we're all gonna get together some of us earlier than others because we got two shifts, but uh, we're all going to walk up to the M and uh, you're going to have an opportunity to sit up there, place your rocks and get a great view of, of the golden area and, uh, and everything else. Um, on uh, Sunday, you're going to get together again as a class and you're going to take your uh, Minds class picture, you're going to form a big M out on the football field and then you're going to go off and you're going to be welcomed by the golden community because you're going to go out there and do a service project out there. So lots of welcoming taking place and then of course uh, your faculty are going to welcome you in the classrooms Monday morning. So a lot, lot going on for, for all of us. So anyway, um, since you're going to be spending a lot of time together, I thought I would tell you a little bit about yourself. Uh, there are 1,623 of you 
uh, in total. That includes 1,480 first-year students and 143 transfer students. You were selected from about 11,000 applications, and um, you know we looked specifically for kind of bright, hard-working, team-oriented um, students who we think really will do well at Mines. And for those of you that I've, I've already met, either through move-in or for or for the one of the three or dear camps, I think we've picked a great group of students. So we're really happy to have you here. So let's see what else. You come from all over the world. Uh, you represent 48 U.S. states and 21 countries. And uh, so all of you from, from Colorado, would you please stand? Welcome. Yeah. <laughs> this is the group that thought it was hot today. <laughs> so uh, how about all the out-of-staters? Would you stand up? Welcome to mine. The uh, top five U.S. states outside of Colorado represent this class. Anyone want to guess what the top one is? Texas. Yeah, Texas, yep. That's the group that thought it was cool outside today. <laughs> How many of you Texans have a Texas flag hanging in your dorm room already? Okay, yep. <laughs> pretty, pretty common, so that's, that's good. The other uh, four states, California. You're from California, all right. <laughs> Washington. Okay. Illinois, and uh, breaking into the top five for the first time, I think, Oregon. So, welcome from there. Um, let's see, yeah, about 4% uh, of you are international students representing 21 countries. So if you're an international student and with us today, would you please stand up? Welcome. <laughs> Just for reference, the top five non-U.S. countries are Saudi Arabia, Oman, Indonesia, Mexico, and Peru. So, um, let's see, about 20% of you will be the first ever in your family's history to earn a college degree. So if you're a first-gen student, why don't you stand up so we can welcome you to Mines. Yeah. Forty-eight members of your class are veterans or have family who are veterans, so if you fit that category, why don't you stand up for us? Yeah. We have uh, apparently four complete sets of twins in the incoming class. I think we've already met three of them in previous convocations, so I don't know, do we have a complete set in this group at all? Stand up if you are. There we go. Some of you come from families where blue and silver run strong in your veins. So if you have a parent who's an alumna or alumnus, or um, you have a, you're an incoming student, you've got a, a brother or sister who's at Mines or already graduated from Mines, why don't you stand up? Yeah. And how about all of our parents who are alumni? I know I'm, I met some today even, so why don't you stand up? Welcome back, Ore Diggers. Yeah. Okay, let's see some other statistics that I made up today. This purely from observations during move-in. The, uh, the average number of blue carts that you each filled in moving in was three. But it ranged from, uh, some of you were one. Any ones, if you were ones, you knew it. We, we were very appreciative of you. And then, uh, then we had some that were on the like seven or eight cart spectrum. Uh, at least one of you brought a futon to campus because I moved it to your room. One of you brought uh, Jeremy the little ceramic or glass turtle with her plant. Anybody claim Jeremy the little turtle? but uh, helped move that as well. Um, your, uh, the rocks that you're gonna carry up to the M tomorrow, based on visual observations, weigh on average about eight and a half pounds. 
So we'll, 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 we'll see. The alumni will be weighing tomorrow, so we'll find out how, how close you were or, or not were those. The coolest one I think I saw was from Austin, and it was a piece of limestone. So that was, that was pretty neat. Um, let's see what other statistics. Your, your favorite ice cream is vanilla bean. Pepperoni's your favorite pizza. Well, actually, those are mine, but the um, <laughs> main reason I put those in is because really to let you know, you bring a lot of different characteristics to mind. In fact, so I saw some of you moving with, with uh, somebody brought a violin today, somebody had a full, full-size keyboard. I probably saw six or seven guitars going in the room. So how many of you are musicians? Right? Okay. The band loves you. Um, how many of you uh, would consider yourselves artists? All right, see, got that, pretty cool. How about, uh, how many of you are um, athletes? All right, pretty good. How many of you like to ski? Pretty good number. How many of you like, tell me you have never skied? Okay. 30% of you will be wearing boots in January, I think, the way it usually works out. But... Uh, but anyway, I mean, you bring all those things, and we're really excited that you're bringing all of those things to, all those things to mind. And, um, you know, the important thing to know is that while you come from all over the world, um, you're all very different. You're all ore diggers. And being an ore digger me means that you are part of an amazing community. Um, and that community includes our students, includes our amazing faculty who are sitting over there. Um, it includes staff, alumni, and, and of course, all of your families. You know, this community includes some of the brightest, most creative and hardworking people uh, on the planet, and they're incredibly caring as well. And that caring apart is really important. So simply stated, ore diggers take care of each other. And uh, you're going to hear about that more of those themes as you hear from people who follow me. But, you know, the underlying foundational strength of our community is that we do care for each other and the pride that we have in this community and the commitment that we all make to each other. So I, I have a, a favor I'm going to ask for you that you have to, you're going to all commit to take care of each other. Is that good? Now the way you're going to commit to it is you're going to make a hell of a lot of noise in a second. Okay? So I'm going gonna, I'm gonna to count down from three and I want to hear the loudest commitment to take care of each other I have heard from any convocation yet. And it better be the loudest because you're twice as big as the other two that we've already had. Okay? <laughs> And it's going to be up to the people on stage to decide if it's loud enough. Okay, you ready? Three, two, one. That actually was pretty good. So, all right, thank you, thank you for doing that. Um, and of course, you've already encountered people who are who are going to be helping you out. How about everybody who volunteered for movement today? How about let's give them a big round of applause. If you've gone to camp, you met your camp counselor. Tonight, you're going to meet your peer mentors, probably. Um, and, uh, you know, of course, how about the faculty stand up one more time? I always like seeing them stand up. They're... This group and their peers are going to, they're, they're going to keep you busy, but they're going to care for you the whole time as well. And, of course, um, alumni are going to be involved in your professional development as well. And... Um, We've got a lot of other folks who work and help out around here, and you're going you're gonna to learn that. Um, the other thing I'd like to just say is that I'm also part of your support network, and I want to let you know that I'm here to help you out if you need it. You know, reach out anytime you want to. Um, you can, um, you know, you can just send me an email, paul.johnson.minds.edu. Um, if you've got, like, suggestions for how to make things better, I'm more than happy to hear it. If you just want to go have coffee or a smoothie or whatever, I'm happy to treat you on campus. If you stand behind me in line at Zyme or Starbucks, you're, you're doing good. You'll find out. Um, and uh, in any case, uh, I just really look forward to meeting you. All of us here, faculty that are here and everybody else, we, we love to get to know you here in your time at Mines. We, it's really special to us a few years from now when you're crossing the stage in this arena over there. Um, when we get to shake your hand and, and uh, wish you well going off. It's, it, it's a lot of, lot of fun to have spent some time with you there. So um, please take time and introduce yourselves. We, we all love 
to meet all of you. So uh, in closing, I hope you all have a really fantastic fall semester. Um, and uh, I've enjoyed meeting at Ordeer Camp and move in. Tomorrow I'll see you at end climb. I'll just let you know if you don't like to get wet, don't walk anywhere near me. Um, and uh, so I'm looking forward to getting to know you, shaking your hand. And let's see, one last message I have. Jordan Marshall, where are you? Jordan, your uh, dad wants us to take a picture together. <laughs> your, your dad and I already took a picture together. But, uh, but he wants us to have a picture together. So when, when we're done with all this and we're outside at the barbecue, I'll be around Blaster somewhere and we'll, we'll take care of that. So anyway, everybody, welcome to Minds. Thank you for being here. Thank you, President Johnson. So that is like the coolest person on campus. So hope your expectations were set high. Um, those are some pretty impressive facts about our newest group of ore diggers. And I can't wait to see what you all achieve at Mines. I now have the privilege to introduce to you Dr. Alexis Sichler from the Department of Geology and Geological Engineering. Dr. Sichler is a Mines alumna receiving her master's degree from Mines in Geochemistry in 2003. After receiving her PhD at the Pennsylvania State University in 2008, Dr. Sichler came back to Mines as a postdoc and has been here ever since. Please join me in welcoming Dr. Sichler. All right, I wanna thank President Johnson for the opportunity to welcome you to Mines. So, on behalf of the faculty, welcome to Mines. We're very excited for you to join this amazing community. I trust that you've started making friends, figuring out where to get coffee, and maybe even bought your first hoodie, although it wasn't that cold out today. The first few days and weeks on campus can be a mix of excitement, trepidation, and bewilderment. I remember showing up to Mines as a graduate student. I was scared. I was scared I wasn't gonna be smart enough I was scared I wasn't gonna be cool enough. Those two things sound strange next to each other, but here, smart is cool. I didn't know where the registrar's office was. I didn't know how to get into my student account, but I figured it out, and you will too. I asked a lot of questions. I got to know a lot of people, and very quickly, minds felt like home. I also remember being incredibly excited to be here. That excitement only grew when I realized that for the first time in my life, I was completely surrounded by people whose love of science, math, and engineering equaled, if not completely eclipsed my own. People can tell that Minds is special, but when I'm asked what's special about Minds, and I am asked that often, I find it hard to put into words. The closest I can come is that people at Minds get me. They get my intensities, they get my eccentricities, they get the random facts that come out in conversation, and that creates a very profound sense of community. Before Minds, I never dreamed I would regularly work through a hard problem sitting on a ski lift, have an in-depth conversation about the forces that climbing gear exerts on rocks, or spend an entire hike marveling over the rocks under our feet. You too will find a community here that will get you. You will find friends that will totally nerd out over your latest computer build, stay up all night with you playing the latest edition of The Legend of Zelda. I know that because my son just did this recently. Brainstorm problems with your research progress on the team bus or design and build a killer cardboard race boat to race down Clear Creek, even if it snows. You and your friends will also be there for each other to commiserate over, commiserate over a failed test or a failed experiment, to pick each other up when a relationship doesn't work out, and to tell each other that you're amazing no matter what, and to celebrate your achievements. The students here, that now includes you, are what makes mine so special as a professor too. And we get you even if sometimes it seems like we don't. But we know how fortunate we are to have students like you in class 
and getting to know you is one of the best parts of our job. We'll be here to answer your probing questions, to encourage you to follow your passions, and to help identify opportunities for work or research, and write your letters of recommendation when it's time for you to leave Minds. We will also totally nerd out over your latest computer build and build a cardboard boat with you if you ask. We're here for you, reach out. Please stop by office hours, they can get kinda lonely. Ask us questions, tell us what you're up to. I love it when students come by office hours for help or when they just want to talk about a news story they just read uh, or tell me about the rocks they saw on vacation. From your classmates to your dorm friends, to your faculty and advisors, all the way to President Johnson, who proudly declares that he's team nerd on his phone case, which I saw while I was sitting next to him. You're part of a special community that gets you, cares about you, wants you to succeed, and will be there to help you through the rough patches. I'm incredibly fortunate to still be a part of this community where I get to teach students like you. Students that are smart, passionate, and want to change the world. I also still get to talk about hard research problems with my friends, AKA my colleagues. So any of you new faculty that came to convocation tonight, this includes you, on a ski lift. It's also one of the best parts of my job. So again, welcome to Minds, and I'll see you in the classroom. Thank you very much, Dr. Sitchler, and thank you for your ongoing support for MINDS. Now, we move on to the part of the ceremony where you get to hear a bit more from some of our exceptional students on campus. We'll start off with the undergraduate student government president, Charles O'Donnell, followed by president of the Blue Key Honor Society, Caleb Degater, yeah. and then two student athletes representing two of our varsity sports, Grant Redman representing the track and field, and Quincy Baum representing women's basketball. Please join me in welcoming these students up to the podium. Sorry y'all, I'm a little bit short. But good afternoon everyone. On behalf of the students at the Colorado School of Mines, welcome to our home. My name is Charles O'Donnell and I am your student body president. I am so excited for you to continue your journey here at this school as you all have unique circumstances to getting here. Every student in this room is connected through a passion of STEM, a commitment to hands-on learning and an exceptional work ethic. To help ease your nerves, I want to share a story of my first year experience with a surprise twist of how that chapter ended. After moving into Maple Hall, I went to Ordier Camp 3 with other SLCs. I made the best memories here and got to continue making memories through the fall kickoff. I got to see, shout out, undergraduate student government and a variety of extracurriculars during the M climb, and I'll give you a hint for this upcoming event. Get ready to be soaked. After my first classes on the first Friday, I walked around the celebration of mines looking for clubs to join. One stuck out to me, of course, undergraduate student government. After following the USG Instagram, at MindsUSG, an advertisement for the communications director popped up. That was the moment I knew I would combine two of my passions here, service to my community and mechanical engineering. However, I decided to take a risk and run for first year president. I ended up losing the election, and I wanna teach you all a valuable experience that you will experience here at Minds. You will have ups, you will have downs. Engineering is tough, but that is why you are all here. If you're feeling down at all, there are so many resources on and off campus. CASA, your professor's office hours, your TA's office hours, the Student Wellness Center, every ore digger, peer mentors, your RAs, your peers, are all valuable resources that you can lean on. The theme of my first year experience was perseverance, a lifelong skill that you have to learn through time and experience, not in the classroom. I have had to persevere many times and was only successful after losing the election because I leaned on my campus resources. This is why your time here at Minds is so invaluable. My spring semester started pretty rough. 
After taking my first spring exam, I had a sinking feeling in my gut about how I did. I failed, 51 out of 100. I was devastated because this is the first time I ever failed a test. That weekend, I had to recover by getting woodies with my friends and playing board games in the study room. Yes, I do love to play board games and it gets very competitive. They took my mind off the exam and reminded me that grades were just a number and that they do not define your intelligence. My advice to you is to focus on learning and remembering that we all have different learning styles and paces. Oh, and remember perseverance? I aced my next exam. So you might be wondering, how did Charles recover from losing the election? And how does his first year story end? I pushed myself to apply for communications director and surprisingly, I got it. I was making history as the first first year executive team. This is the best decision I made at Mines. The simple act of applying rippled into running for student body president as a first year. I had a lot of people doubt me. They said I was too young to run, but I chose courage and decided to give it my best shot which brings me to today. I am thankful for perseverance. As I learned here, it is taught to believe in myself when nobody else did, which allowed me to become your student body president. USG and I are ecstatic to create an environment in which you can all realize your passions, learn from each other, and grow together. We have engineering change at Minds, where our fundamental mission is you, the next generation of Ordigers. We want you all to be involved with USG. So stop by our first Senate meeting next Wednesday at 6 p.m. in Green Center Metal Hall, submit a speak your mind form, or consider running for first year class representative. The sky is the limit here at Mines. And never forget that I am here to serve and support all of you. Come find me at the barbecue after this. I would like to now introduce Caleb Degater, president of the Blue Key Honor Society. Welcome to your home for the next few years. <laughs> Hello, my name is Caleb Degater, and I'm the president of Mines Blue Key Honor Society this year. I'm so excited to welcome everyone to Minds this semester. Blue Key is a national honor society that focuses on service and spirit. This chapter was established in 1926 and since then has been upholding Minds traditions, taking care of our mascot Blaster and tending to the M on Mount Zion. You'll see members of Blue Key running Blaster at football games, walking in the ore cart pool during E-days, and very soon leading groups up the M on the M climb. Speaking of the M climb, I hope you all have your rocks from home, your school spirit ready, and your walking shoes because it's coming up. The M Klein marks the, marks the start of your time here at Mines. Bringing the rock up with you from your home symbolizes you taking a piece from your home and coming with you to Mines. When you graduate, you will go back up to the M and take a rock, bringing a piece of Mines with you wherever you go. We have a saying here at Mines, or diggers climb together. While you will literally be climbing Mount Zion together, very soon, your years here will also be a climb. Mines is no walk in the park, but your fellow ore diggers will be there with you for every step of the way. They'll lift you up when you fall and cheer, on, cheer you on when you succeed. The people around you will become your friends, your study buddies, and your crew for those well-deserved late night ice cream runs. While it might seem daunting, I encourage you to embrace the ore digger community. These people will be your peers for the next four years and your friends for even longer. I want to remind you that there's more to Mines than your classes. Both the Mines and Golden communities have so much to offer. So join a club or two, explore the mountains, and participate in the unique traditions on campus. You've got a head start with the M Climb tomorrow, but the cardboard boat race in Clear Creek is a, way, is a great way to show people that you're a hell of an engineer. It was not long ago where I was right where you are now, feeling nervous and excited all at the same time. But I challenge you to approach your time here with an open mindset and a positive attitude. And I promise you'll find your community and friends that will stay with you even long after you leave. Again, welcome to our newest ore diggers, and I can't wait to see you all tomorrow at the M Climb. I'd like to welcome up Quincy and Grant, some of our student athletes, to give you a little bit more about the athletics. Um, 
going to try and keep it pretty quick here. It's, it's warm, and I'm thinking about barbecue. Um, I'm Grant Redmond, and I'm a high jumper, and occasionally I throw the javelin on the track and field team. I'm a fifth year, recently graduating from Lyons with my bachelor's in electrical engineering. I'm going to be, be pursuing my master's in electrical engineering, graduating this spring. And I'm Quincy Baum. I'm on the women's basketball team studying mechanical engineering. Both Grant and I are on the student athlete advisory committee here. We represent the athletic department, which is made up of more than 500 student athletes. Colorado School of Mines' proud athletic history has produced 370 All-Americans, earning 903 total awards through the 2022-2023 season. We'd like to take a minute to recognize the incoming student athletes on the varsity teams. So if you're on a varsity athletic team as an incoming freshman, uh, please stand up. As you can see, MINDS is not only made up of super smart students, but also a very active group of athletes. What makes MINDS so different from any other college you attend to is the amazing group of people that you'll meet while you're here. If I can leave you with one piece of advice, it would be to live in the moment. College is full of crazy ups and downs and all things unpredictable. It's important to prioritize the joy and happiness in each thing you do. Over the next four years, the MINDS community will become so much more than just a school. I hope you try new things, maybe a women's basketball game, and learn to love it just as much as we do. I'm so excited that you're here. Thank you and welcome to mine. As a member of the Mines community, we encourage you to come out and support our varsity athletic teams. The first football game is on the last day of this month. I think men's soccer opens up in a week from today and volleyball and women's soccer both open up on, on the first day of next month. Um, every sporting event is, for, is free for students, and it's a fantastic way to connect with your peers. It means a lot to our student athletes to have you guys out there cheering for us. Plus, it's always a lot of fun to see the other teams losing to a bunch of nerds. <laughs> Even if you aren't an athlete, I highly recommend finding some form of physical activity that you enjoy. Golden is an amazing town for outdoor activities. There are lots of trails to walk on or run. We have an incredible student recreation center, which is right over there. And... Um, there's a lot of ski mountains around here, so when the snow comes, make sure you get up to the mountains. Among many other benefits, being active will help you manage your academic load. And I can tell you from experience, it's great to get outside and just not think about school for some, for some time. To really support your teams and show some school pr pride and spirit, you have to learn our fight song. Some of you guys that went to Ortega Camp 1 already know that. Um, you'll also get a lot of practice tomorrow at the m -Con, but we're going to get you started today. Um, will everyone up here on stage please stand up? And if you know this song, please really belt it out. Um, but we'd like to sing the fight song now. So hang on just, just, just for a second. I'll let you memorize the words on the back of the shirts in front of you. <laughs> but, uh, you know, one of, the, one of the really cool things to me about our student athletes is they're, they're actually pretty humble. And so they don't always sort of tell you the full story about uh, athletics at mine. So, um, so the Rocky Mountain Athletic Conference, which we're part of, has something called the RMAC Cup, which goes to the best, uh, most outstanding athletic program every year. Who who won it this year? Uh, it was Colorado School of Mines for I think the seventh year in a row. Yep. And uh, and there's something uh, nationally called the Learfield Directors Cup. Uh, which ranks all the Division II athletic programs in the country. And how do we do this year? I don't remember where we finished. You, you can call on David Hansberg, who's here today. What do we, what do we get, David? Where are we at? Number three. Number three in the country. Right, yeah. We led after both fall and winter for the first yeah. time. And how did the cross-country team do last year? Well, we had an individual national champion in cross-country for the first time ever, and we also happened to win the team title for the third time. So, so it was pretty, pretty good. <laughs> and uh, Quincy, I see a lot of things hanging on the wall here. Some say women's basketball on them. How, how's the women's basketball team do? We're all right sometimes. You're all right sometimes? <laughs> We, we like, don't you like occasionally win the conference championship and go to the NCAA tournament and everything? Occasionally. Yes, occasionally, yes. <laughs> so, and you can see it listed on the walls. And uh, how'd, how'd that football team do last year? 
Well, they, they made it to the national championship game, which is pretty good. So we're hoping they can uh, repeat that process and bring home a trophy next year. The big yeah. one. They got the second place one last year. So. Pretty good. And, uh, you know, one of the fav my favorite stories to tell is, is about our quarterback who won the Division II Harlan Hill Trophy, which is essentially the, the national Heisman Trophy for Division II. And um, I can remember one of his uh, professors in, in uh, computer science, he's a computer science major, wrote on social media um, after he won that award that first thing he wrote was, John's in my class. I didn't know he played football. I didn't know he was any good at football. I just knew he was good at computer science. So that's, that's the way it is here. It's, it's, uh, it's pretty cool. And the football game that you've been invited to, our football team starts the season ranked. Number two. I number two in the country. And the team that we're playing is ranked number three in the country. So you get a chance to see a number two versus number three in the country on August 31st. Don't miss that opportunity. It's, it's going to be awesome. So um, before we jump to this, I did forget earlier to introduce my boss. Where'd she go? She's hanging around right there. Elise, would you please stand up? So. She's, uh, she's usually tethered to a little 40 pound, 50 pound brown dog named Ember, and they love meeting students. Many of you met them at camp already. And um, just wanna let you know, if any of you are unable to go home for Thanksgiving, you're more than happy to have Thanksgiving meal with us at our house. So. Uh, just so you know that, that that's out there. Okay, so who, so now, are we ready to do the fight song? That was lame. Uh, oh, I, I agree with Quincy. Quincy said, that's lame. <laughs> so, are you ready to do the fight song? Okay, now, we've got, we got, we got the band who's going to play for us. Who would like, I know some of you know it pretty well from camp. If anybody would like to help us, come on up. I know, come on, be brave. Come on. Come on. Yeah, all right. Let's go, yep. There we go, we got it. There we go. All right. Awesome. Thanks, Good to see you again. We got room for a couple more. All right, here we go. Okay, a couple things. So we're gonna, we're gonna start off with the big O part, which all of you know, but you're all gonna stand up in a minute to help us with that. The band's gonna kick in, then we're gonna sing along with the band. At the end, the band will lead us out towards the barbecue. But if you sing really, really well, who's shooting today? Both of you are shooting. You're going to see the blaster blaster in action. Shooting blaster out there. Oh, for real. Yeah, this is happening. So, but it's only if you like sing really good. Okay? And on top of that, if you sing really, really good, the real blaster will be out on the lawn out there to take pictures with you. Okay? So all you got to do is sing the fight song really well, hang out with, do it with the band. So, students, we need you standing. Okay, and as, as long as you're not in the front row, you've got something to look at to cheat on. Now, the last convocation, they figured out in about 10 seconds that from the front row, if you turn sideways, only one person doesn't know the fight song. So you can, you can work that out on your own, okay? So are we ready? Okay, so hang on. We'll do the big O here. You want to start us with yeah, yeah. the big O? Ready? All right. Everyone get your hands up. Oh.
Okay, well, oh yeah, you get, yeah. You can, you can keep it or throw it, it's your choice. Anybody who volunteered, I think we might have enough. So. Yeah. All right. Okay, we will see you out there on the barbecue. Thanks for coming, everybody. Track kids, come find me, I'd like to meet y'all. Thank you.